Hi everybody. Welcome to my WooTube channel. <laughs> uh, hope you are all doing well wherever you are. This today's uh, movie uh, story, it's uh, quite disturbing, but uh, this uh, nurse there from uh, Westmead uh, Hospital, the emergency section, uh, Julia, her name is, very, very nasty piece of work, as you'll see uh, as later on, but, uh, you know, she's the type of dangerous uh, hospital people working there, very dangerous, that uh, the, the chief executive, Graham Loy, and the general manager there, uh, Rebecca Tyson, are covering up for, protecting her. And uh, ditto um, <coughs> New South Wales Premier Gladys Berejiklian and uh, New South Wales uh, Health Minister, and research minister, which is a bit of a joke, uh, Brad Hazard, protecting the, this sort of uh, shameful, dangerous conduct that's running rife through Westmead Hospital. And uh, these people are, are just disregarding the patient's welfare and safety. Anyway, uh, this poor dying cancer patient uh, as I was in the in the other video before this, uh, he was thrown out of the hospital by Doctor uh, Mi Ling from China, probably in the CCP. Sounds like it is the way she operates. And uh, Doctor Chris Cheeseman. Uh, threw this man out out of the hospital yesterday, but uh, they threw him out when he was he was he was unwell, and they pulled the drip off him. Just reiterating, however, this uh, Doctor Mi Ling from China, she wrote wrote, wrote a bodgy prescription, worthless prescription for uh, um, narcotics, opioids, for this dying man who was in pain and, and, and need, needed help, need, needed pain relief. And uh, she gave him a dud, dud prescription and, and he was running around all night trying to get a pharmacist to accept it and, and they all refused it. He had to go and see a doctor, and the doctor said, "No, he said oh, this is rubbish." He said, "I can't change this. You go back and see the the doctor who uh, wrote this prescription out." And um, you know, apparently, what she'd written on the prescription, what Doctor Lee wrote on the prescription, hasn't been on the shelf for eight, ten years. And uh, I know Dr. Mi Ling, she, she's the uh, consultant, the head, head officer in charge, the head doctor in charge of emergency, emergency, emergency department, trusted to, to write, write out a valid prescription. And it's very dangerous, you know, for to, any doctor to write out a prescription like that. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, and, um, uh, you know, it looks like she's done it on purpose. When you join all the dots, you know, she, she's been re really uh, hammering this poor old dying man. And uh, she's obviously got an agenda, ulterior motive, and, you know, that was mentioned in the, in the previous movie, but... Uh, really behaving like she's in China, you know, and uh, 
you know, Westmead Hospital, they try the patient's uh, legal rights. But um, at any rate, uh, Doc, Dr. Me Ling, uh, was, they've covered up for her there. And, and, and they, you know, they're saying it's the patient's blind, it's his fault and, you know, the CEO and, uh, or the, not the CEO, they call him the Chief Executive, Graham Roy, and Rebecca Tyson, the General Manager. You know, they're, they're covering up. They're covering up for all uh, maltreatment and basically criminal conduct. Anyway, I'll just, uh, you know, I've done enough talking for now, but um, I'll just, uh, I'll just play you this nasty piece of work, Julia. Terrible nurse from hell. I'll just just listen, and it's it's self-explanatory. Could I speak to the registrar, officer in charge, please? So we're in the middle of, I'm in the middle of triage. Hello. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah. No, so for your name to be What's called. up? I, I want to speak to the registrar, the officer in charge. The monkey yeah. said. The, the Dr. Ling, the, the uh, registrar, the doc, Dr. Ling, who are you, by the way? I'm the patient experience coordinator here. Yeah. Uh, Send him back to the India. Did she do it on purpose or what? No. Can, can get the registrar to come out here and yes. give me a proper prescription. Yes, sir. Can I have the prescription, please? No, I don't want to keep this for evidence. Can I, all I right. Have to see well, you, you, you look at you look at the. the We've yeah, got this monkey the there. Talking down, disrespectful to the dying man. This this doctor, she was very Months rude to live. and bullied me, and she's given me the wrong prescription. Basically, coming and get lost. It doesn't exist. It hasn't existed for eight years. Her and uh, Dr. Chris uh, Cheeseman, they bullied me and threw me out of this hospital. Nasty pieces of work. And they gave me the wrong prescription, inappropriate prescription. Thank you, I'll, I'll uh, fix it up the, the drug you. does not exist. No worries. Uh, the palliative care doctor came here, Dr. Cam Catherine Alsop, she prescribed uh, endone. But why did this uh, consultant registrar, Dr. Ling, We've had trouble understanding her English. She gave her the in incorrect, wrong prescription. Okay. Very bad. Very right. dangerous conduct. Okay. So I want someone with status to come out, give me a proper prescription and an apology. All right? I want an apology. No apology. They put the boot in him. Incompetent. I just say the doctor. Dr. Ling should be terminated right now. Anyway, uh, that's a, enough of that uh, video. But you, you can see this uh, nurse, Julia, and uh, the monkey there trying to act like, he's, uh, like he knows something. You know, they're both control freaks. Obviously, they despise the patients. And... Um, <laughs> Just terrible conduct, and and the hospital to cover up for it. It's just dreadful, you know. And uh, you know the hospital's so corrupt there now. It, it's basically it needs to be shut down and start again. But I'll just pu play you some more of this bloody horrible piece of work, uh, Julia. Could I speak to the registrar, officer in charge, please? So we're in the middle of, I'm in the middle of triage. Hello. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah. No, so what's up? Wait your name to be called. Yeah, I, I want to speak to the registrar, the officer in charge. Yeah. The, the, the Dr. Ling, the, the uh, 
Just right to start here. Doc, Dr. Ling, who are you, by the way? I'm the patient experience coordinator here. Yeah, no, just leave that one. We'll go, go up to this one here. I want another medication. I, I want the proper medication. This Dr. Ling, the registrar consultant, she she prescribed a drug that doesn't yeah, exist. That's what I need to do. So he needs to put on the system. Listen to this monkey. No, nah, he could, sure how long it's going to be. No, he thinks not, he's in no, Delhi no, Hospital. No, all I want is a five-minute change of prescription. That's all. Give me the proper prescription. Who no, is he? Whoever's high up the come. Yeah, I already asked. You just need to be triaged again. No, I'm not going to be. There's well, nothing they're, to they're be triaged. You. All I want is for the hospital to give the correct prescription. I'm that's giving you the answer. That's incorrect. That's no, the your answer is unsatisfactory. That's the, so what do you want us to do then? To give me the right prescription. That's what we need to do. We need to put your back on You system. don't have to triage me. The doctor's got the details yeah, here. The doctor's gone home. There's well, there's another doctor. Yeah. There's plenty of doctors. Be seen by another doctor. No, you, no, no, you don't have to be seen. This is it's self evident that this, this prescription, the drug doesn't exist. It hasn't existed for 10 years. Do you want, do you want to be put back on the system? Or? I want the hospital Send the to monkey issue back a safe, to correct drug. That's what this, we need to do first. We need to put you on the system first. So how, well, well, you get me on the system. I'm not going to wait for two days. All right? There's a lot of people. I want a five-minute job. Fix up this. I'm not sure. It's not going to be a five-minute job. No, it's a five-minute job to give the He's right an idiot. Yeah. Indian this man. You want to see a doctor and then you give me a subscription. Yeah, but I don't want to wait for four hours. This, this is a simple. I don't need triage, all right? There's, you this will be... Just come over here with your medical card or just... Yeah, just come the, over here. This is not a matter of triage, all right? This is a matter of the hospital yeah. filed to give me the just correct prescription. Just listen to this Indian bloke. There's a process of the hospital. All right, well, I'll do what you say, but just I think it's through his very, eyes. Bad, very bad conduct, you know? Yeah. We, we will help you. We'll help you. Yeah, but I'm not going to stay here for hours. Help okay? you. Say bullshit. Look at this. This, this is yes. ridiculous. The drug doesn't exist. Yeah. 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 Should have all been done in five minutes. Yeah, it will help you. Yeah. The Julia and this uh, monkey, they watched Dr. Li Ling and Dr. Cheeseman throw this poor man out. And, uh, you know, they decided to put the boot in too to get brownie points. I mean, these, these people are just... Just disgusting, you know, and uh, and here you've got the chief executive Graham Loy and general manager Rebecca Tyson, Berejiklian and Hazard covering up for these mongrels. They don't care about the patients. Just disgusting. Anyway, I'll just play you some more, you know, and... Uh, you know, you don't want yourself or your family or friends to come and encounter this sort of nonsense. Have a go at this. The mistake is by a doctor, Dr. Ling, right? She's, she's giving out an inappropriate, inappropriate prescription. He loves to argue. But, but, all, but, all, no, but listen. The guidelines that Australasian triage scale guidelines. So Australasian triage guidelines. To be filled, that you fall underneath, you, you come in at that category five, which is the lowest. It's category. already been triaged. So unfortunately, that it doesn't matter if it's Doctor Ling's fault. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. Under those guidelines, he just wants a prescription like for his pain and his suffering. I'm driving are, around all you. night trying I'm to get a narcotic. Well. Narcotic. But in terms of our urgency system, you come at the bottom not of urgent to Julia. That's That's not, not, she not doesn't give a rat's ass. The, the doctor's incompetent. <laughs> I'm, I'm coming George, here to get it corrected. George, listen to me. It does, that it's, doesn't uh, change how urgent it is for us. Graham, Lily, and Rebecca Tyson. I'm going to wait here until 2 o'clock in the morning. 
Fantastic. Because the doctor here is incompetent. The patient's a problem. And, and, gave an prescription. You know, and they've blacklisted him, man. He can't go back. He's at home suffering now. So I can get the They're refusing the drug medicinal cannabis. Being an emergency department, Gladys and we have to see Brad Hazard. I understand all of that. They're frustrating him. Provocative. It's a little wonder so many patients in hospitals, sometimes some of them explode. So this this stupid woman here, you know, one day some patient will explode and the security officers will jump on the patient and then they blame the patient. They blame the patient. You know, patients, do, you know, deserve to be treated with respect and it's a two-way thing. If, if the hospital doctors and nurses treat the patient, patients like shit, they, they don't deserve respect. They deserve condemnation. And so does the chief executive, Graham Loy, and, and general manager, Rebecca Tyson, they deserve com condemnation. Absolutely appalling. Anyway, that's uh, it is what it is, you know. And uh, I don't get any joy doing this. Believe me, I've got better things to do. I should be out playing golf today. Beautiful sunny day. Beautiful sunny day. Saturday here in Sydney. Beautiful sunny skies. Lovely, crisp, chill in the air. Global warming hasn't hit here, here up in Sydney. It's freezing here, you know, but it's beautiful and fresh. But look, I'll just, I'll just uh, play this other one. And I mean, these, these people, I tell you, they need to be locked up. I've got to wait here hours and You've hours. You've got to go home now. Someone to fix the prescription up that takes five minutes because it's been done. Just listen wrong. to this, Julia. I've got to go home. Okay? Nasty piece of work. What, what's your name again? My name's Julia. That's, that's Julia. Julia. Oh, Julia. Well, it's not a, it's, it's, I'm not going to wait here for three, three or four hours. He's victimising me. To rectify Bullying the mistake him. made by the hospital. Dying man. All I want is the, the, the prescription. Suffering in pain. And I want it filled out properly. Put in the boot in. It takes five <laughs> minutes for him to correct Dr Ling's mistake. <laughs> Five minutes to correct it. You read the reviews of Westmead Hospital. There's a dozen people complaining about Julia. The way that triage works is a couple of patients. In, in their opinion, it's the worst hospital in Australia. Hard to argue with that. We've got all the top heavy. Top heavy uh, chairman and, well, and corporate, body corporate, and all the stooges up the top, top heavy, Look, just because you're milking busy, the place, getting money for nothing, and running the place mistake. downhill. That's what it looks like. Yeah, they don't want any complaints, they just seek positive, good feedback. Any complaints are just trash. Fogged off. And this is what so uh, Premier Verajitli and condones. And so uh, Health Minister Hazard, they cover up for it. I've seen Hazard on the, uh, in Parliament there bullying this woman there. You know, I'll put the link onto that in, in the next movie. The man's an absolute drug. That's why he, he's ignoring this, this poor dying man's complaints. And so is Gladys. She had to go to the New South Wales ICAC and they grilled her. She had to take the top barrister with her now. SC, now a boyfriend. Look, anyone here has done nothing wrong. No, there's nothing to fear. You don't have to take a barrister to court. Just get in there and tell them how it is. All this, uh, you know, can't be cool, and oh, I'm not too sure, you know, all oh, that. It doesn't wash. As they remember everything else for 20 years. <laughs> Here's the poor man, you've got to leave. Very distressed. 
It's a stinking hot night. Very bad, very bad. He left. Left the hospital. Paid the parking uh, to get in there and park the car. Milk and the patients again, this government. Anyway, he was down the down the road, five minutes down the road, and gets a, a phone call from the hospital. Someone ringing up uh, another nurse. She sounded, uh, you know, she sounded genuine, but you don't know, they bullshit. She said, oh, look, you know, sorry, we, 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 we've got your prescription now. Uh, come and get it. I'll meet you in the car park and give it straight to you. This is the right prescription, not the wrong prescription. And the man asked this nurse in the car park, why did Dr. Mi Ling give, give me a, a fake prescription that wasn't acceptable and she's done it deliberately? She needs to apologise. And the, the nurse nodded her head and... Um, uh, and uh, apologise, and and the patient said, it, it, the man said, it's not your fault. You don't have to apologise, Doctor Mu Ling and and Chris Cheeseman. It's their their fault. So anyway, he he got it there in the car park, the correct prescription. At the you know five minutes, and they kept him there, Julia, and that other monkey. Uh, from India, they kept him there in suffering and wanted him to stay till three or four in the morning to be triaged or maybe longer. Other patients coming in, he's pushed to the back of the queue. There's a hundred patients in there and these these clowns are victimising him, bullying him. Just disgraceful. And again, the hospital covers up the government's covers up. Nothing to see here, they said to the, the poor dying man when he complained. And they blacklisted him and said, don't come back. you get more of the same. And they flagged his name. Goodness me. Is this Australia or communist China? Obviously, they're going to sell this hospital and privatise it and uh, to one of their friends. And uh, we know that goes on in a lot of things, you know, uh, and they don't do it, to, you know, because they want to help us. It's, it, it's, it's just, to, you know, to line their own pockets, you know, to get connections and that. As far as the sick people go, these people don't care if the people die, you know, and, and they really need to uh, check into all the deaths in that hospital in the last few years to just, you know, look into it because if they cover up complaints, they're probably covering up things like that, most likely. And uh, just disgraceful. That's what they did up in Bundaberg Hospital in Queensland with Dr Jayant Patel from India. He killed 100 people, maimed many others. And uh, your people complained about him to the hospital, and the hospital just fobbed the complaints off and let him go, let him go on killing people. And then the mongrel fled the country. And these people here, like uh, Gladys and, and Hazard, they're bringing more Dr. Patels in and covering up for them. My goodness me. Uh, anyway, look, it's uh, been good to uh, talk to you guys and um you know look we you, we can get on top of this and uh some people obviously need to be put in jail here and um uh you know as i said in the last last uh movie if look if you, you have to go to hospital but look i wouldn't advise you to go to westmead hospital a anywhere like that take your take your iphone fully charged your device, and, and uh, you know, uh, just just record, voice record yourself. They'll try to, you know, they'll, they'll throw a tantrum like they did with this man, and 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 uh, got hostile and called the security guards and that kind of stuff and all of that.
but uh, and you know they, they've got no policy. They claim they've got a policy, but there's no policy to say that you can't record your own voice. And they've got a lot to hide. That's why they, you know, they get very hostile when you record your own voice, as they did with this patient on a previous occasion. All right, uh, everyone, just just take care and uh, enjoy the rest of the day. I'm going to go out and have a game of golf now. I'll sit out in the sunshine and have a few uh, few bottles of Crown Lager there up at the what's he Fox Hills Golf Club. Okay, ciao.